I'm live. It's Saturday. Hello. Hope some of you join me today for this jewelry jar, jewelry bag opening. I am wearing vintage Langani today, which I love, all these glass beads. And yeah, so today we're opening up this box of jewelry. I think it said something like colorful jewelry and it is from Virginia. I'm gonna just back up here a little bit. And what's behind me? Oh, um, oh I think it's in the shop. Good, okay. So basically this was $47. And hi, Hudson Vintage. I, I told Don I was gonna go live in a few minutes. And Don, I, <laughs> I just remembered as I went live, I was supposed to text Don and tell her I was going live. And I'm glad you're here because I forgot to do that because I got too excited about the jewelry. Hi, Becky. I look good. Oh, thank you. Um, thank you. I put makeup on and I, I'm glad you think that because I kind of put two curls in my hair and let the rest go willy nilly. Um, okay, this was $47.75 with shipping, which is cray cray, but you know me, I do it anyway because I love this. This is like my favorite thing to do on the weekends. It's huge. I think it was like 15 pounds or so, and um, I was notified. Oh, good. Well, sometimes, you know, sometimes it notifies you and sometimes it doesn't. Um, for those of you that are in the chat, um, some of you might know that Dawn from Hudson Vintage and I started something very, very special called um, Bobbles and Bubbles, and it is a monthly series. It may wind up being more than monthly. Who knows? Um, but it's a monthly series with the two of us basically chatting, spending time with you guys, opening... Um, up our collections for auction and um, and selling jewelry, but mainly having you know a lot of fun conversations. Don and I have become good friends, and many of you have become good friends for us as well. And so it is just a, a celebration of jewelry and our time together. So and drinking bubbly beverages, which for Don. Um, Don and me are going to be uh, sparkling water until the broadcast is over. Uh, <laughs> otherwise, I don't know what that broadcast would look like. But um, Don, I think this last time you drank kombucha, which I've never tried. Don, tell us, like, is it is it delicious or is it just about the health benefits? Tell us in the chat um, why kombucha, and I'm, am I pronouncing this correctly? Let me know. By the way, let me say this, guys, because for those of you who open these up and spend your money on these bags, we find a lot of amazing uh, jewelry in here. And, oh, I already see something I love. Oh. Um, but guess what? You also find a lot of scrap silver and gold and I brought mine in twice so far since I started this journey first time I got six hundred dollars and yesterday I brought my scrap in and I got seven hundred dollars scrap gold and silver so when you um, when you go through this stuff even if it's teeny tiny it's an earring post it's a chain it's broken Put it aside and take it in because you know what it all it all adds up and it's money it's real money I mean it's that was thirteen hundred dollars in scrap gold and silver and none of that was my own stuff it was all what I found in here Becky you make kombucha wow it's delicious what's in there guys um, Becky and Don what is what is in kombucha and why is it so good for you tell us. Tell us more. Okay, so here we go, guys. See, now I just want to talk, but I have to focus. I have to focus. But I'll let you guys talk. I already see a couple of things in here that I love. I have several of these, and are these not beautiful? 
Look at these beads. Oh, I hope it's a, it's a nice long one. Look at this, guys. Beautiful. What do you think? That's great. That's a, isn't that an amazing first thing out of the bag? Absolutely stunning Italian glass beads. And I love it. Okay. You ferment with apple juice and cranberry. I know, isn't it pretty? I know, I know. I, I'm telling you, I find the best treasures and I see something else and I think that's the reason I bought this bag. There's also always some, um, some fun costume pieces and I, um, I resell that kind of stuff on Poshmark and on um, Etsy in terms of the more vintage um, pieces. And I also do craft lots, which as some of you guys know, I have um, I have been selling to somebody who's been making the most beautiful jewelry, and I already see something that I'm saving for her because she does gorgeous things with seed beads. And so, hi, Adrian and everyone waiting outside the thrift store for my turn. Oh, Nilla Fiore, thank you. It was on the tip of my tongue, and I was waiting to get the recall. I swear I'm losing my memory during this perimenopause thing. It is like, it's real. You guys, are you experiencing that? I am, um, and I hate it. <laughs> I absolutely hate it. This is cute. Uh, there are a lot of people who like this insect jewelry, um, and this is a spider. That's kind of cool. I'm always reverse on, on StreamYard and I'm trying to get used to it. Um, hi, Cynthia, I was just talking about you. Um, when you're ready for more beads, send me an email because I've been putting things aside for you, especially the seed beads because I loved those earrings you made me and I figured other people are going to love them as well. It is real, I'm telling you, it is. Hi, Lizzie, how are you? Um, so that's cool for those of you who like insects. And, oh, Dawn, this looks like, I'm sure this is a copy, but this looks like the style of, um, of that thing you showed on, in the auction. I have to leave this on the side or it's going to fall over, guys. Um, what was that designer? This is not it, but it. It looks like that style. What was the designer you showed with the earrings, with the photo and the wings? I can't, um, I can't recall, but this is cool. And this is the much less expensive version of that, but I like it anyway. Nothing wrong with um, less expensive. And um, although what you showed was out of this world, but sometimes I think it's okay to... You know, especially if you're on a budget to do something like this. And this is, I guess, a pinup pendant. Thank you, Estrin Wilson. And I did look up that designer. I always learn from Hudson Vintage. If you're not following Dawn, you must. She is the most knowledgeable and I learn from her every day. I am a novice. And while I do love jewelry and I know a little bit, she knows a lot. Doesn't that look like that style kind of with the photograph and I like the turquoise. So that's cool. Very cool. And I want to get to a piece that I saw. Oh, okay. So for those of you who, um, who might remember, I opened a box from Coastal Virginia not long ago, and it was um, it was phenomenal. And then I opened a couple after that, and they weren't that good. But I have a good feeling about this one. Usually I know right at the beginning if I feel like I could see a couple of pieces in there that I like. And... I already see that this is going to be a good bag. So I feel like I'm going to get my money back and more. Dawn is very knowledgeable, by the way. Be right back. I need to get scissors. Okay. 
we will be here. I'm not going anywhere. I'm just going to enjoy the jewelry. And the folks who have joined us, this is weird. This is like a stretchy. This is, don't you feel it, Dawn? I always feel it when it's, when it's a good, um, yeah, this is going to go into craft, but I've never seen a rhinestone necklace that's stretchy like that, but I'm not going to sell that. That's going into the craft box. And this is a brooch. It is marked. And this is Sarah Coventry. And that's cute. Nice size. I love scale. I can feel it when I'm in the parking lot too. Really? I have to start going. I haven't been, um, I haven't been going. And um, I just talked to my mom this week. And when I do go visit her, I'm going to go thrifting with her. She's excited about that. Cute necklace. Nice layering piece. Things like that go on to my Poshmark. Things like the Sarah piece go into my Etsy. Um, if you ever like a piece, do send me a note and let me know, and I am happy to sell it direct. This says Hope, and it's got a cross on it. BCBG, BCBG makes a lot of these bracelets, but this is obviously not one of those. There's a nice feel to this. It is kind of plastic, um, but it's soft for some reason. Um, how are you guys doing today? Oh, Lizzie, thank you. This is Embassy Pretty Watch. I just brought in three beautiful watches for my mom. And some of these, all they need is a battery. And when I brought my, uh, when I brought my pieces in to scrap, the guy I bring it to is a, is a watch expert. So while I'm there, I, um, I bring him some watches that I think, you know, are worth saving and this is broken. So this will go into the craft lot. And so, yeah, so he fixed three different pieces for me and they came out great and I will give them to mom. Whoops. Beads falling. <laughs> okay. Now, the, where is the piece I wanted to open? A nice surprise. Yeah, I thought, why not? I will go on with Dawn on, um, that'll go into craft. Someone will do nice work with the beads, like Cynthia. Um, this is turquoise, I think. Oh, no, oh, no. it's faux turquoise. I was hoping this was going to be real turquoise. This is a nice, um, a nice faux, though. It's pretty beads, very pretty beads, and I, I do like it, and I would wear that 100%. That's pretty. I love turquoise. You're liking the look? I know. Listen, nothing wrong with a little faux turquoise. Really pretty, right? Beautiful against white. Um, yeah, so sometimes I have to go in and fix things up. These are cold. That might be tiger's eye. Mm, I don't know. I don't think so. No. But that's cute. Good beads. Some of these beads I, I think are really worth reusing. And I will resell them. I normally do not like these bracelets very much. Um, but I happen to like this one. And I really think the stones are a nice color combo. Looks good with a turquoise necklace. So we will hold on to that. Which one do you love, Lizzie? The turquoise? Um, great seed beads on this. Cynthia, this is what, um, Cynthia, this is what I've been putting aside for you, these kinds of things. Um, because I know what you are capable of with those earrings. So, um, so I've been putting aside really nice quality sea beads for you. Whenever you're ready, you let me know. Um, what are you guys doing this weekend? I know a lot of us have had our vaccines and I, I'm probably going to have a relaxing weekend, but 
it's really nice to get out and about. Those are going into craft. Okay, this looks a little wild. Um, okay, I think this guy's trying to be a Chanel with a flower on here. And it's really pretty purple, which I love. My other company, um, not a la mode by Adrian, it's broken, but I'll put this aside for beads. Um, my company, my PR agency is all purple with its branding. I'll put that in the bead lot because it's broken. I know it is fun, right? But the, there are some beads missing on the flower. I guess that doesn't matter. Let me look at that closer later. So fun. It's so much fun and passes the time working with the seed beads. You are so talented. Cynthia, when are you starting your Etsy? It's broken. Craft. When are you starting your Etsy page? Trying to drink more water. And I'm putting lemon in it. It's not dirty water. It's lemon water. Um, I'm hoping to go spend one with the lions. Whoop. Oh, these are popping out of here left and right. Something broke in this, but we'll find it. We will find it. This looks like this looks like genuine stone. Let's see. Um, I like it better when Dawn is my partner in crime here. Real soon. Oh, I'm so excited for you. Everyone loves your stuff. I've gotten plenty of comments. That is for sure. I don't know who makes this. This is probably like a Leah Sophia piece. No, this is faux turquoise too. And that's pretty though. Oops. I am so backwards on here. Dawn, when are we going to get used to it? <laughs> ah! <sighs> Lemon water is so good for you. I know. I've been trying. I've been trying to do it more because you know what? During, um, during COVID, no surprise, I am drinking more wine and alcohol in general. And I feel like I need a cleanse. Um, I'm sure many of you can relate. Are you drinking more wine? That's pretty. And I think that's genuine stone. I keep saying that, but then I pull it out and it's not cold and it's plasticky. But that's okay. Nothing wrong with costume. This looks like silver. I'll have to test that, but this looks like sterling to me. Very pretty. And I will put that over here. That'll be a Poshmark item. Oh, my stepdaughter's going to want this. Anything with animal print, she goes nuts for. This is New York & Co. Ton of New York & Co. Um, necklaces and these things. And... I never shopped there when I was in New York. I do know that there was one right next door to Bloomingdale's, but once I would get near Bloomingdale's, I couldn't concentrate on anything else but that. And so I, I never really went in there. But that's a pretty necklace. My stepdaughter's going to want that one. And I just sent her a huge package of stuff. She always gets great stuff from me. Got to share. Share the wealth. I um, I do try and share with her. She's a new college grad and working very hard. Um, I am putting this into craft. And so it is my pleasure to give her stuff because I can imagine if I was 22 and just starting out and my stepmom or mom gave me bucketfuls of jewelry. That would make me real happy. Yep, that's not magnetic and it's kind of worn. So, I mean, it is magnetic and it's worn. So I'm putting that in craft. Can you believe I got $700 in scrap, guys, from this? It's worth going through it. I'll tell you, I mean, I walk um, away with, like, the dirtiest 
Tans Cupcakes. I used to live around the corner from Bloomingdale's and Express. Seriously? I didn't know. Wait, I didn't know you lived right there. I lived on 86th and 3rd for many years. I know, I know you used to hang out on the Upper East Side. I guess I didn't realize that you were next to Bloomingdale's. Um, I think you lived on the West Side too, right, John? Um, I love the cupcakes too. 56 between Lex and Park. Um, wow, cupcakes. Oh, I'm not supposed to say it out loud. Add ginger to lemon water. I'm scrolling up now. Um, <laughs> okay, these are pretty beads. Bloomingdale's was fun. Dawn, once things get normal, maybe you and I can meet in New York and go thrifting. Because I'm definitely going to be back and forth to um, to New York. These are pretty. Um, and I was getting back once a month. I feel like this is sterling on the, on the lock here. Just curious about it. Um, I was getting back once a month. Yep, I knew it. Oh, pineapple upside down cake. Yum. That's on Sterling Findings. Um, yeah, my company was based there. So I was getting back once a month. And these have seen much better days. These are wood, but they're a mess. Um, and I look forward to getting back. Wow, if I could get back once a month. Again, that would be awesome. I can't see what this says. Were you? This is a mess. Very dirty and scratched. Craft lot. The craft lot. And yeah, I didn't film it, but I opened the blue box and I'm glad I didn't film it because it was not a good lot. I think it was from Tennessee. And, um, but there was a gold necklace in there. I think these are glass, but I will put this in the bead lot. I, this is all broken, but the, I like the beads. They need to be washed, but I like glass beads quite a bit. I feel like my luck is waning. What is happening? I was getting excited. This says, oh my goodness, genuine leather backing um this looks like that designer um can't remember it i'll think of it but my brain is leaving the building oh there's a lot of them in here hold on this might does this does that go on the no this is two different things this says christine and um, it is a watch on this like stretchy, thank you, Vera Bradley, um, stretchy thing, but this might be interesting because I feel like it's brand new. This could be cool on a scarf, like wrapped around your, um, wrist. I'm going to take that to my watchmaker. I'm throwing this out. Um, take that to the watchmaker and see what he thinks. He usually is very honest with me and he'll tell me what's good and what is not. Oh, I see a little critter. Let's see what this critter is. Oh, he's cute. Did any of you used to catch frogs? I used to catch frogs. Oh, he's cute. I like him. I'm going to hold on to him. Brand new too. This is all stretched out. Might have been cute in its day, but it is going into the craft lot. And this is a very heavy watch. What is this? Um, sometimes I find really good copies in here. This is Watch Gear Tourneau. I'm going to have to look that up and see what this is. Because this looks like a nice men's watch that needs to be fixed. I'll show it to you. Very good weight on this. I'm going to have to research that. Beautiful men's watch. Um, what part of Virginia did this come from? I think coastal Virginia. Let me look. 
Um, Richmond, Goodwill of Central and Coastal Virginia. Close up. Um, yeah, this is going to be a nice watch. I can feel by the weight. Um, Mark has a tag, and I've promised him a Rolex at some point in time in our marriage, maybe for our five year. Um, but once in a while, my stepson will really dig um, the watches that I find in here. Oh, okay. That's fun. Oh, it's all rusted. Gosh darn it. It won't bother someone. That's a really pretty ring. It probably won't bother me um, because it's on the side. You can't see it, but that's really pretty. That is too funny. I used to get my drawers from them. They stopped selling them in the shop. You got it. Hi, jewelry, etc. I watch your channel too. Adrian, um, that's funny. my best jar was from them. Literally hundreds of dollars, tons of sterling. Yeah, I found, um, I found a bag from them that was silver and gold. And I opened it on camera, um, and it was all basically like Monet, Trafari, in perfect condition. What is this? Someone wore the heck out of this watch. 9W. I do like this look, but it is totaled. Crap. Well... Why didn't I get this award? World's greatest camper. So glad I caught you. Have I missed much? I've been on for 26 minutes, but I probably will be on for another hour, knowing me. Um, thanks for sticking with me, guys. And thanks for joining on Thursdays for my auction and especially for baubles and bubbles. This looks like loft. Um, Dawn and I are going to schedule our next one. That's pretty. I think all the stones are there. Um, I don't know. My guess is it'll be the, the, um, third week of May. My birthday is coming up. I'm so excited. May 3rd is my birthday. And last, last year was my 50th. That's pretty. This is dyed halite. Um, last year was my 50th, and God, what a letdown. We were supposed to go to Hawaii, and oh, I love things like this, but this is, this is total. What brand is this? I love things that float. Brielle. Um, yeah, that's gross now, but that would have been cute. Yeah, so I was supposed to go to Hawaii for my 50th and it got canceled and um, that was a bummer obviously because of COVID steel case in the steel movement this is a pretty watch I might fix this for my mom as well I, I love those rivets and nail heads I am a Taurus I am 51 I'm gonna be 51 in a week Thank you for that compliment. Um, trying to keep it together. I'll tell you, it's not easy. Um, this is pretty. I'll put that on my posh. I am a Taurus. Taurus the bull. Very loyal. Super honest. Um, creatures that like to be home. Homebodies. World's greatest soccer player. I'm not that either. That's going into craft. And this is broken craft. It is leather. Someone will craft with that and have fun with it. This is on the card from Macy's and it is Alfani. Cute. Very cute. My son is this August. Oh, my 50th is this August. Happy birthday um, in advance. What are you doing for your 50th? It's pretty. I wanted to really have a party. Such a big birthday. This will go in craft. Um, I'm such a party girl. That would have been my real wish is to do a 50th birthday party. 
I also had lofty goals of going to a spa with girlfriends. None of this happened, of course, but that's okay. Um, after a couple of months, um, this just says made in Taiwan and it's broken. After a couple of months, Mark and I got restless in, um, in this COVID um, stuff and he took me on a California road trip, which was fun. So we did that. that that's what we wound up doing for my, for my 50th. That's pretty, pretty costume. It's a big birthday, you know? It's, um, it's major. These are pretty, very pretty. Oops. 31 in the chat. Guys, if you aren't subscribed, if you wouldn't mind subscribing, that would be awesome. Because then when I go live, you will find out about it. And it helps me grow the channel. You've heard all of this. I'm going to put that in craft. Yeah, a bunch of these in here. Genuine leather backing. Are these, guys, are these for that watch, do you think, maybe? Or are these bracelets? What are those? Tell me. Yeah, please subscribe, and if you wouldn't mind giving a thumbs up, if you're enjoying, that would be awesome. And let's see. That is it's a nice clamp bracelet. Surprise, this is not branded, but that's pretty. You're over 50. Have a good day from Honduras. Hello from Honduras. I am 56, turned 57. You know, I feel like these days, isn't it different? 50 is different. I feel like, I feel really young still. This is a keychain. It was, see this? This is meant to be. It's a New York City keychain. Um, Empire State Building with the tickets on, $9.99. I'm keeping that. I am keeping that. Um, this is pretty. Nice bangle bracelet. I'll show you guys in a second. I'm looking for branding. I don't see any, but that's nice. Um, very pretty. I like it. Nice bag, right? I mean, I feel like I got my money's worth already here. Um, tags on Macy's 2850. I don't see a brand. Pretty bangles. I'm over 50. Um, Almost 61, don't feel my age. I know, I don't feel my age either. What I do need to do, which is, can't believe I'm not doing it in this COVID mess, because I certainly have the time. I'm not exercising, which is pathetic. And I really should have been one of those people who exercised the whole time during COVID and came out of it like, wow, I'm in the best shape of my life. Like all these TikTokers. I'm so jealous. I'm like, yeah, I did nothing. What I did was I learned how to cook and I started this jewelry thing. So I guess I was semi-productive, but I kind of wish I exercised. Safety pin? No. Um, this is cute. I'm giving a lot of my clip-ons to my aunt who um, is only wearing clip-ons these days. That's a cute little swan. I like that. Not a lot of earrings in here, guys. Um, I'm not at the end yet, but this says. <laughs> no problema. <laughs> oh, my God. Anyone letting their hair go gray? My mom just told me she's doing that. Um, Rob did that, too. Yeah, I'm, I'm not doing that. That's not happening. Nope. I did my hair at home. I saw my hairdresser in my backyard. This is broken. Someone will craft with that, I'm sure. Um, yeah, that was fun. Getting my hair washed in my backyard with the garden hose freezing. Um... Yeah, this is going in craft. That's like a magnetic bracelet. Oh my God, that day was freezing. I remember it was ice cold 
But listen, a girl's got to do what a girl's got to do. This is also very heavy. I'm looking for, oh, this is U.S. Polo Association. This is another one for my stepson. Um, nice looking watch. No scratches. Right? Heavy. He'll love that. Fix that up. In fact, his birthday is in May. I have a lot of May birthdays, April and May birthdays in my life. So maybe I'll fix a couple watches and send it to him at his mom's. And he can have a couple of birthday watches. Okay, what is this? This is not in great shape. That's going into craft. Right? Nice watch. I know. There's some nice things in here. Thank you, Coastal Virginia. I have so many of these layering necklaces. These are pretty beads, though. Um, I like the colors. These purple and turquoise colors are really cute. This has got to be a New York & Co. I kind of see the tag. Very um, typical New York & Co. style. I'm curious to see what I will look like all silver and white. I've been cutting my own hair and it looks okay for a bird test. <laughs> I keep my blonde so the silver just blends in. I see we've hit a topic that everyone has something to say about, right? Hair color during COVID. Now, this is why Dawn and I are starting um, Bobbles and Bubbles because this is, this is the stuff we all want to talk about, right? Oh, my gosh. Hair during COVID. How about diet during COVID? I've been semi good, I have to say. Um, holiday time, I was a nightmare. My mom, that's broken. My mom sent me the best, and it's not gonna sound like I was bad because they were gluten free, right? The best gluten free cookies, but she sent like a case of them. And Eating anything, even healthy stuff, if you eat like a case of something, you're gonna gain weight. I put on five pounds. Like I just looked at that case of cookies and put on five pounds immediately. This is gonna be pretty to craft with. I have so many of these necklaces. This is this is kind of a nice one. That is a statement necklace, right? Maybe I'll hold on to that. That's pretty, right? It is pretty it's pretty. I'm going to hold on to that one. Some of the necklaces, I'm like, okay, I'm kind of over this because I have the same bubble necklace 52 times over. But then sometimes I get something like that. And I'm like, I, I might clean that up. Um, this says Briou. I feel like I should look this brand up. I don't know why. But I feel like I need to look that up. Um, okay. I'm sure there's lots more sugar and gluten-free things. Carmen, holy cats, it's funny. Um, this is going in craft. Guys, thanks for coming by. I wasn't sure what the crowd was going to be like today because it's a weekend. I thought maybe it would be busy. This is broken. Craft. Oh, boy. Okay, tangles, tangles. Let's go over here. This is a big bag of stuff. Let's see what this says. This says scoop. I wonder if this is the scoop from New York. There was a boutique. Don, you remember scoop? It's a pretty watch, but it's pretty worn down. But in its day, that would have been really cute. I'm sad, but it's worn out. I'm putting in craft. I'm not going to think about it. Not going to think about it. Okay. This is an R brooch. It is marked. It says Sarah. Did Sarah Coventry make initial stuff? I guess they did. I didn't realize that. Um, I don't think I've ever seen her do initial stuff, but that's an R. So we'll put that over there. Um, this is a stretch. I've never quite seen a stretch bracelet like that. But there you go. 33 in the chat. Hi, guys. 
so nice when people show up to watch. Did you guys see Dawn's video on her modernist collection? If you have not, when you're done watching me, go over there to Hudson Vintage and check out her collection. She did such a phenomenal video the other day. What is this? This looks like Premier Designs. Yep. Um, yeah, after here, go over there, and if you haven't seen it, you will love it or watch it again. Pretty beads on here, but it's broken. She has some collection over there. Holy cow. And you'll learn a lot. This is stretched out. Thumbs up now. Please do not wait. Scoop from, oh, scoop from HSN. Okay, what's going to be in here? There's a velvet pouch. Excellent video I watched before the auction. Don, those Native American earrings, I love them. Okay, is this going to be good? Uh, what is going to be in here? Oh, no. I thought this was going to be, like, crazy special. This is, ha, <laughs> ha. Okay, this is, um, Don, what do you call these things where you put perfume in? This is one of the modern-day ones where you put the sponge and... It even came with orange scented, um, orange scented fragrance. I thought this was going to be major. It's like velvet pouch. What could be in here? Diamonds? No, not diamonds, Adrian. A vinaigrette, a vin, a vin, a vinaigrette, like a dressing. Is that how it's pronounced? These are broken. It'll go in craft pretty beads. Um, that just made me hungry. This says $4.95. $4.95. And it is, I think this is a religious bracelet. It looks like there's a tree of life. Hold on. Let me see. I can't see anything. It says L-I-O-O. -O. I don't know what this is. Don't know what that is. I'll have to look into that. A vinaigrette. I'd like a vinaigrette with a salad right about now. I'm starving. Um, that'll go into craft. Broken. Bunch of broken things in here, too. This is about to be stretched out. That'll go into craft. Pretty beads. Those would make a pretty wind chime. Wait, which ones? Please show us your ring today. Oh, that's my engagement ring. I got it cleaned yesterday. It's so sparkly right now. I love that ring. This is, um, this is from Italy. This is actually, I went to Italy to Rome. Um, it's 14 karat. And this is the first piece of jewelry I ever purchased for myself, like a real piece of jewelry. And I absolutely love it. It's a Roman coin. It's 14 karat gold. And it is really special. It's a special, hi Yvonne, how are you? Um, it's a special um, piece for me because I didn't have money back then. And, um, and I might have put it on a credit card. I don't know what I did, but um, you know, when you don't have the money and you buy yourself a real piece of something, it's like extra, extra special. And I've had it for a long time. Sometimes these are 14 K. I am going to look, I don't think this is, but you never know. You never know. Um, I don't think that is unless it's super dirty. No, pretty though. I will test that for Jade. I was distracted. I had to text. Yeah, I love that piece. And I, you know what? I haven't worn it in a while. I went to, um, I went to put my stuff on, um, my makeup on, and everything. That's a may peace be with you. That's an ornament. Um, I went to get dressed today, and I realized I hadn't, I hadn't worn it in a long time. Vintage B. Oh no, this isn't vintage. Um, beaded necklace looks vintage. I'm putting that in the bead lot. Oh boy. Okay. 
Um, this is Seen Better Days. It's spouse was already put in the craft lot so i will send it along to join oh lots of lots of beads popping out of here oh boy cynthia i'm gonna have a nice lot for you this looks like rose quartz i'll see what that is later and pretty colors on this watch it's a little dirty but vernier I like these colors together, the pink, brown, and blue, kind of interesting. And it has the tickets on, genuine leather. I'm gonna look this up too, maybe I can clean that band off. We'll see. On my TV, you put the jewelry right under the text feed. It is to the left, to your left on the screen. Hi, Hudson Vintage, hi, Vaughn. Um, Ginger, I'm not sure what you mean. On my TV, you put the jewelry right under the text feed. I don't know what you mean. Is it is it um, not showing up on the screen? What is this? This is pretty. This looks like either, this looks like Avon probably. Um, I bet this is Avon. Maybe not. Cute little pendant necklace. Okay, <laughs> it's not staying still. Oh, there it is. It's like faux ruby. I'll test it anyway, but I'm sure it's faux. And we've got lots of beaded necklaces here. Here's the mate to the rose quartz. And let's see what this is. This is very worn. This was a loft necklace. That'll go into craft. Adrian, I like the necklace you're wearing. This is a really good piece. Um, I learned about this from Dawn. Um, this is Langani. Look up this designer. It's beautiful. The beads on this are stunning. I actually pulled um, a Langani for our auction, the um, bubbles and baubles. Here's another bracelet like this. Um, I pulled it and then we never got to it because we got to so many other things that it was it was tough to get through everything I pulled. Don, I know the same for you because we I saw your list in advance. Um, maybe the next time we do one of those auctions, Don and I discussed this the other day. I think what we will likely do is three hours because there were like 70 people who were, you know, still very um, engaged and in the in the chat. And Don and I um, had our um, our partners waiting for dinner, and we were starving, and we didn't start it early enough, and all of that. So I think the next time we will start maybe right down at four. That's pretty. I'm saving this for a friend's daughter who loves um, player stuff. So I, I often, if I know someone loves something, I'll put it aside for them. And I try to I try to share with the people in my personal life, as you guys know, like my stepdaughter. And I've already got a collection for my mom going and my aunt going um, because I like to share the wealth. This is a New York and Co. Um, animal print beads. Alyssa, I will put this away for you. Speak of the devil. I um, always speak to my stepdaughter. That'll go in craft. That's like a little bead. Um, this is cute. This says Yazol. Um, I like that watch. It's pretty. Little flower. Yes, we will start earlier. Loved your video. Right, Martha? Her videos are amazing. It's like going to school. It's like jewelry school, right? Um, this has seen better days. That'll go in craft. Yes, it is jewelry school. Craft. Let's see. What else are we going to get? Oh, this is a pretty pair of earrings. Well, it's a pretty earring. Hopefully, we'll have this set. And I like that. Very cute, very bobble bar. 
This is Copper Tone. And let's see, is this a vintage piece or no? Um, no, it is not. Let's see. It's cute though, if you like copper. A lot of people do like copper. I just sold a copper bracelet on my Etsy page. Um, speaking of which, if you guys like anything, send me an email and let me know and we can talk about it. Or um, or check out the About section and you'll see the Etsy and Poshmark sites. Jewelry School, I know, right? I kind of like this necklace. It's with all the little dangles. That's pretty. Um, I know, I was learning from Dawn way before we became friends. And Dawn, do you remember? I can't even remember how I started writing to you. I feel like I sent you a friend mail at the beginning. Cynthia, I have some really pretty beads here. Um, but I can't remember how we started talking. Maybe you said, let's just do a call. I'm gonna put that in craft. Um, this is a silver vintage chain, but I don't think that's silver. But nope, I'll put that in craft. I'm not a fan of copper. Yeah, I, I think either you love it or you don't, right? This matches the bracelet. Um, either you love it or you don't. It's kind of neat. I have to twist this around. Um, there's a bracelet to match that. That's cool. And you said 917. Oh, 917. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yes. I said, here's my number, 917. And you were like, wait a minute. Are you from New York? And that was that. The rest is history, right? This looks like it's going to be cool, too. Um, oh, I like that. This needs to be cleaned. I don't see a brand on this. Dawn probably likes the style because it's what this is probably modernist, right? It's pretty cool. I wish this was sterling. Dawn and Adrian, I watched your auction last week, but my hands are full the whole time, so I could only give a thumbs up. Uh, <laughs> that's okay. We like, we'll take a thumbs up. We love a thumbs up. And this is kind of banged up. Um, that will go into craft. Craft, craft, okay. This had such a good start, but I still got some nice pieces at the beginning. Here's more copper. Um, I don't really like this as much. This is very worn. I'm putting that in craft. Craft. Oh, this is sad. The, the beaded necklace that broke, the beads are beautiful. I'm going to have to be careful with this because um, Mark's writing to me. This goes on every week. Every week after he plays tennis, he wants his pizza. I've never seen someone love pizza more than my husband. This was $15. And this desperately needs to be cleaned, but it looks super interesting. I'm trying to be careful with the beads because this has this has the makings of a mess right now. 35 of you in the chat. Thanks for coming by, guys. This is Cold Water Creek. Let me just gingerly um, take this out. Dawn, what did you call that necklace? Um, I forgot the name of it. With with all of the um, pendants hanging from, um, oh gosh, I'm trying to think. It was like like messy, me hot hot messy or something. And that designer that I had the ear cuff from. This is like. I can't even find my words right now. All right, let me let me take a minute and remember what I was trying to say. She'll probably remember. Thank you. See, I know this is this is how you know you are friends with somebody. They like can finish your sentences when you cannot find the words. I like this. It needs 
It needs cleaning. Erickson Beeman, thank you. You have a gorgeous Erickson Beeman on that website, on your Shopify. Can you put your Shopify in the chat, please? Um, this has a ticket on it. This was made in India. And this needs to be cleaned, but I think this could be kind of neat. Um, this is a necklace. It's, I have to straighten it out because the pendants are like willy-nilly all around. Um, but I think that's kind of cool. Very unusual. I know. I like it, too. All right. I have to be careful with this. There's a lot of beads coming out. All right. Here's what I'm going to do. Bear with me, guys. Um, I need to put these carefully away. They're beautiful. They're like a moss green color. And I love them. These are going to craft. They're like these little beaded things. Guys, can you bear with me for one second? I need to find an envelope. Here we go. Um, to put this in. So we can save these beautiful beads for somebody who crafts. Okay. Thank you. All right, I see a nice big piece of quartz here. And... I don't love the chain, but this will be nice to craft with and will be beautiful on, oops, don't break it, Adrian. Will be really pretty on the end of a beaded necklace, I think. So I will put that aside for one of my special craft lots. Everyone send flowers now. ShopHudsonVintage.com. Yes, thank you. Thanks for putting that there. Dawn has gorgeous things. It's going crap. Um, Dawn has absolutely beautiful things in her store front um, or in her collection. I think this says LMN. And... Now I'm really hungry because Mark said I'm going to get pizza. I was considering, this is Avon, I was considering having some gluten-free pizza today, but I'm hoping he's going to listen to my earlier note that said get me a rotisserie chicken. Um, this is, let's see what this says, Simple Addiction. Do you guys know that brand? I don't. Simple Addiction. Pretty colors. Oh, it's broken. Oh, well. I like these colors, though. Navy. Pretty blue. Um, what is this? This is Rusty Craft. Um, when's the last time you guys had a pizza? When I go back home to New Jersey, Mark's going to freak out over Jersey pizza, which I don't know if he's ever had. Um, pretty beads, right? Yeah, I'll put them in craft. I don't, I'm going to put that in craft, too. A lot of craft items at the end of this, guys. But that's okay. You know, you can't, you can't win them all. These are pretty. What is that? What is that? That's very long. Oh, this is the Cold Water Creek. I like that color. I love blue. Pretty necklace. Very long. Um, no gold and silver. So, well, well, just on the findings. Just silver findings so far. But, I mean, the universe probably gave me enough scrap yesterday. Um, these are faux pearls. Very pretty heavier. Um, they're glass. And okay. these will go in the bead lot. Heme tight. Reading stone. I'm not hungry right now because they just said, sh oh, shrimp egg rolls. That sounds so good. Oh my gosh. 
These are the things you miss when you are gluten-free, that is for sure. There's no replacement for an egg roll. That's pretty, very pretty earrings. We'll see if we have the meat to some of these earrings um, because there's not much at the bottom of this. Um, costume piece, I'm gonna put that aside for my friend's daughter. Um, okay, we're putting that aside as well. Yeah, I have a nice pile of stuff now that I'm looking at it. Here's paparazzi. Have you guys bought paparazzi before? I have someone I know in, um, in Illinois who literally bought a house because of her paparazzi business. And I think she, she wrote um, when she bought it, like the house that Bling built, which I thought was so funny. Those are pretty, they look like, like almost like an inlay. And I have a couple of pairs of these in here. Interesting looking, right? Um, here, of course, we've got, what would a bag be without these magnetic beads? Oh, thanks, Isabel. First time catching you live during the day. Um, yes, Hudson Vintage is here. Usually when we go on together, um, sometimes I do unbaggings. Someone crafted with this already. Um, when I do my unbaggings, I usually do them during the day. Um, Dawn and I do our auctions only at night. So that's why. You haven't caught us. I don't know if this is sterling, but I think not. Um, no. And it's discolored. That will craft. So, yes, yeah, so you will not catch us during the day doing the auction. We will definitely be uh, doing them at night. And usually, that's going into craft too, um, usually at 5 o'clock Pacific time. This is the match to that necklace. Um, but we will, here's the other one. I think we're going to start them a little earlier next time. But we will always let you know. We will always do a promo and um, and let you know on our channels. Button. We're getting to the end. Good vibes. It's a very buttery leather. They put this on, but this is very worn out. Craft. Very soft leather. I'd like a purse made out of that. Um, okay. Ha. Huh. I was. But I have, but wasn't too thrilled with the jewelry because it's cheap. Um, okay. Yeah, some of it is not made that well. But those were nice beads. Alaska Halibut Club. <laughs> Ugh, I still can't get used to this screen, the stream yard. Some of these, though, this is not, but some of these that I have found, those buttons are actually um, gold and this is this is vintage I don't know what this is but it's not in great condition but I want to look at that closer later um, a little costume earring and a hoop I love my hoops I love my hoops um, I sold a pair of Ancline hoops at the auction and I got a note afterwards from my colleague that said, you should not have sold those. They looked really good on you. You should have kept them. But that's always the case, guys. We have so much stuff in our collections, right, Don? It's like you can't, you can't keep it all. That's going to go in craft. So, you know, it's nice to wear it and then share it with someone else who can also enjoy it. And what is this? This looks like, oh, it's magnetic. Yeah, I'm gonna put that in craft too. Um, I don't like the color on the chains. Some of this stuff is very, very worn. Um, I want one really good piece at the end of this. 
also craft. Looks modern. When you do lunch lives, I'm still working. I'm in Florida. I love watching live. Oh, that's so sweet. Um, yeah, I during the day, so I, I think I've told you guys, during the day, I run a PR agency. So that's what I'm usually doing during the day. I love Florida, by the way. Mark and I are very seriously considering a move there. I love this color so much. I might save that for me. I love purple. Um, and we're looking at Miami, where he's lived before, and also Fort Lauderdale. A lot of this is going into craft. I don't know if you can see it or not, but it's not in good condition at all. Um, I love Florida. I love the heat. And California, listen, it is absolutely beautiful here. It really, really is. But um, you can't go in the water here like you can in Florida. Low tap. Hi, Vanessa. Vanessa, are you in Lauderdale? I think you are, right? My favorite Greek restaurant is there called the Greek Isles. If you haven't been, you should go. It is absolutely delicious Greek food. And you know I am lots of tangles. Um, you know I'm from New York, so... I know good restaurants, believe me, and Greek Isles, I think, is phenomenal. I have not been in a couple of years, um, but where is it? It's on A1A, and I think um, near Oakland. This is broken. And it's near, and this place is so much fun. It might be a little loud for some, for some folks, but... Martiranas, do you know that place, the um, Italian restaurant, Martiranas? Martiranas, Martiranas, uh, that place is insane. Their food is delicious. Um, the guy is from the Bronx, and he basically, this is broken, he cooks, and you can watch him cook behind the counter, but he also crafts, he also DJs. And then once in a while, he'll stop the music he's playing, and then he will, no, you know what? He's not from the Bronx. I take that back. He's from Philly, because he is a huge Rocky fan, too. And he'll stop his cooking, and, um, and then he will play on, across all of the television screens a scene from, like, Rocky, or um, he does a lot of Goodfellas stuff. He's this like amazing Italian guy, great cook, broken. And um, I, I think it might be a little loud. Vanessa's kind of nutty in there, but um, highly recommend you go to the Greek Isles. It's definitely on A1A. It's near Oakland. Um, and I, I was there quite a bit a few years ago because my best friend owns, um, owns a home on A1A in Oakland in Lauderdale and um, and the food's phenomenal. And I remember a lot of outdoor space. So I don't know if you're dining out these days, but um, for me, I'm, I'm dining out, but I'm not eating indoors, even though I've had the vaccine. I'm not comfortable with that yet. Um, and they've got a lot of patio space and it's, it's phenomenal. You will not regret going there. Really inexpensive too. Um, but very, very authentic. Um, hi, everybody. Talking about Greece. Um, Greece is where Mark and I honeymooned. This is a pretty heart pendant. Um, I hope it's in good condition. Um, and we went to three different places in Greece. And wow, what, what a phenomenal time we had couple years ago. Um, we went for 10 days and it was awesome. Good evening. Lizzie, what time is it where you are? Good evening, Doug. Hi, Doug. Um, all right. This is all tangled, but there's a heart pendant in there and there's a heart pendant in here. And this looked like sterling to me. Definitely not. Okay. 
I will untangle that later. I'm trying to find one more good thing, guys, because the, the end of this was like all craft, including that. Boo-hoo. But I do have a nice pile of things, so I really can't complain. Um, this is pretty. This is vintage. When I was young, actually understood the language. Oh, really? My best friend lived next door. They spoke only Greek. I used to live and work in Athens. Also spent a lot of time. Wow. I had my vaccine. Sorry, I'm catching up on the chat. I've had my vaccine, Moderna, both shots with no side effects. Yeah, I had minimal side effects, but um, my arm, like, my arm hurt until pretty much two days ago. It was almost a week. That'll go into craft. Guys, I'm sorry. The end of this was all craft. Um, this is green. I'm putting that in craft. But thanks for joining me. I'm still hopeful that I'm going to find one more great thing because I always find great things at the very bottom. And this says express. And I think I already own that necklace. <laughs> um, yeah. All right. Now I'm trying to remember the islands we went to in Greece. This is um, a leather choker. Um, we went to Mykonos, Naxos, which is not as popular as some of the others, but it was actually um, one of our favorites because uh, I think we had a necklace that matched this because it was very authentic. Um, and we rented a car and drove around and we, um, I think this is maybe Brighton. And that was awesome because we went to little neighborhood joints and, um, and it was just like off the beaten path. This is Monet surprised. I thought this was going to be a Brighton piece, but that's actually modern Monet. Cute. I like that. See? All right. Maybe we'll find a couple things at the end. I'd like to go back to Greece. I really wanted to go to Italy as well, but it started adding up and it was too much. It was, it was too much, and we paid for our own wedding, too, so it was like there was no way we could do it all. I loved my wedding. I loved it. I wish I could do it all over again. I wish I could do it all over again. Mark and I only got married a couple years ago, and I think I mentioned this the other day. It was at the Botanical Gardens in New York, and I absolutely loved what we did for our wedding. It was really cool. This says arrow. I'm putting this in craft too. This is, I don't know, guys. Craft, 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 craft. All right. I think we're done for the day. I think this is like pretty much all beads and I see a lot of craft stuff. I'm going to look at the very bottom to see if there's any treasure because normally I do see something at the bottom because these little rings and things kind of float down there. Um, yep, like this is probably sterling. Let's see. Gold plated. This is gold plated. And let's see what this is. I had so many little sterling necklaces. I was pulling something for somebody today. So many little pendant necklaces. And I don't scrap if it's in good condition. I'll, I'll sell it. But there's a little K that's missing a stone. There's a cute cross necklace there. And, you know, there's a couple more little necklaces. Let me look at the very bottom, see if there's any kind of diamond ring or silver something. And I don't think that there is, but I, I'm happy. Listen, the beginning of this was pretty incredible. So um, here's the other hoop. All right. Thank you guys for joining. Head on over to Hudson Vintage. Check out her modernist video. 
I will see you Thursday for my auction. Don will be there as well. I moved for love. Adrian moved for work. Oh, I, I moved for Mark's work. Um, but yes. And, um, and, I, and then I did open an office here as well for my PR business. But, um, but it was originally for Mark's work. And then they got bought. And, um, and now Mark is looking for a new gigs. So we kind of moved out here for nothing. Although he made some nice equity and anyway, long story, but, um, this is pretty, what's this? Um, they sold to another company. So this is express. It's cute. I'll, I'll put that on posh. I'm a posh ambassador now, which is kind of nutty. I have 15,000 followers on there. I don't know how that happens so fast, but um, but I work hard on that closet. So maybe that's why. This is cool. All right, guys. Um, there's the Hudson Vintage video. Check that out. Thanks for joining. See you Thursday at my auction. And then Dawn's having her own auction on Mother's Day, which is May 9th. And I think she's calling it Get, Get What You Really Wanted or so. I always get this wrong. Don, you'll forgive me because I forget everything um, these days. And this was much needed. Thanks, and everyone have a great day. Thank you, guys. Head on over to Hudson Vintage. I will see you on Thursday. Thanks. Bye.